Hello you beautiful creatures, how the devil are you? I hope you're okay. If you're new here, my name is Lou, or Lucifer, as my friends like to call me. By my friends, I mean my Instagram account. We are not in the bedroom again, yes. Uh, we are in London. We are here for London Film and Comic Con. We've just arrived. I was going to uh, record a little bit before we got into the room, however, the area we're in, there's Gareth, uh, he's with me too, uh, the area we're in isn't, how do I put this, uh, I don't feel safe having my camera out basically, we we got this travel lodge, to be fair it was only 60, 60 quid, like in London that's really really good, it's, I can't remember where it's based, oh. Fulham, Fulham, uh, it's in Fulham and why don't I show you around? I'll show you around actually. Tell you what, let's show you from the door. Let's show you from the door. So it's literally, this is it. This is, this is the whole situation. To be fair, we don't really need it for anything. We're not going to stay in here for long. We, we just need somewhere to sleep, uh, somewhere to put all our things. It's got two extra pillows up there, which is really nice. We've got some hanging space as well over here for you. Uh, there's a desk and a bottle opener. Obviously the most important thing. <laughs> um, we have also got a beautiful, beautiful scene. That's wonderful scenery. And how can we forget the pigeon spikes? <laughs> I'm sure if you pay extra, you can have your full window with pigeon spikes on it. Uh, we've got a little kettle as well. We've got two mugs for cups of teas. We've got all of our stuff here. So we've got tea, we've got coffee, we've got milks and sugars. You've also got some uh, plug sockets over here. I think you've got a European one. No, these are USBs. So the good thing about this hotel is they have loads of USBs. So we've got some USBs down here as well next to the bed. Uh, we've got light, ooh, that turns on. So you've got one, uh, one switch on this side that turns on this side of the room. And then you've got your light down here as well. So you've got a nice little reading light. And you basically got the same on the other side. Shall we do the bathroom tour? I think we should do the bathroom tour. Oh, we need to do something. So our friend Michael Bolton, he has a thing about uh, throwing, what are they called? Bed runners. Bed runners. He has a thing about throwing bed runners in the corner. So, yeet. There you go. That's for you, Michael Bolton. Don't say I don't treat you. <laughs> Incidentally, I'm always on the same position whenever he comes through to see us at work. So this is the bathroom. Pretty standard. You've got a shower. You've got hair and body wash over here. This is gonna be a nightmare to work because I can never work these. Uh, we've got a shower head as well. Obviously we've got a shower head, Lou. And we've got a curtain to go across. So for a bit of privacy. <sighs> to be fair, the cleanliness isn't amazing. It's really not. My like, towels as well. To be fair, it's not the hardest towel I've ever had in my life. Uh, you've got some hand wash here as well. You've got some more sockets for your toothbrush. Yeah, that's basically it, isn't it? Mm. So, how would you rate this room? Oh, and we've got a uh, radiator as well. Basic. Basic. Yeah, basic. That's what we need. It's, we're not. We're not going to be here. We're, we're, we're going out now. <laughs> exactly. We're literally. Um, oh, I've got something to show you as well before I carry on. I'm really excited about this. So we're going to meet Nick Frost tomorrow. And as you guys know, I needle felt. And I've made a mini Nick Frost. <laughs> I really hope they can accept gifts because I worked really hard on this. And I poked myself one too many times. <laughs> Gareth's just doing the Dr. Malcolm pose from Jurassic Park because he knows I like uh, Jeff Goldblum. But that's the room. It's like Gareth said, it's basic. It's it's for what you need. If you're coming here to do like the conventions, if you come in here to do the leisure side of London, it's not too bad. However, if you are going to be staying in your room for a bit longer. Get another hotel. Get another hotel. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was so savage. Get another hotel. Don't do this one. Forget it. Uh, the lady was nice enough at the front of the desk. She had a very nice hair braid, but I didn't tell her because I felt too scared to. <laughs> Uh, we're literally going to do the National natural. natural Museum, Natural History Museum. That's the one. I've never been to the Natural History Museum, so forgive me if I like squeal a lot. I, I was a poor child. <laughs> Whereas like my friends and like you, you've been before, haven't you? Only once. Only once, but you've still been before. Last time I was here, Dippy was here. She's gone now. Who's Dippy? Dippy the Diplodocus. She's a dinosaur. I'm sure we'll find another dinosaur. I think it's a you. whale now. They've replaced her with a whale. Oh, what about Wendy Whale? No, Maybe, received. Dippy was the name that everyone gave it. Dippy, R.I.P. Lest we forget. Uh, my version of a ripped holiday is skeggy, so that says a lot about me. But we're literally we're going to go to the National History Museum, and then we're going to do the Christmas market as well. That's the square. I can't wait. I'm so excited. If you guys know me very well, I really like my Christmas markets and I will bring you along for it. There might be certain places where I might not film again just because I'm very conscious of the safety of the camera and the safety of us as well. Uh, as you guys know, we are quite alternative and, you know, some people don't take kindly to alternative people. So that's all I'll say on that matter. But join us. Yes, if you don't want to watch this video because you're strictly here for the uh, London and film film and comic stuff, that's absolutely fine. That's going to be the next video to this one. This is just basically the prep video and what we're doing before the convention. So join us and I hope you enjoy this video with us. History Museum and there is a freaking dinosaur. There's lots of dinosaurs but there's an animatronic dinosaur. <laughs> I've never been here before so I'm really excited so please excuse me like freaking out but there's a dinosaur. the dinosaur exhibit. I have never actually been to the Natural History Museum before, so I'm just gonna cry a lot. Um, I was gonna film us going, oh, look. Yeah, this is gonna be mainly me just like freaking out over dinosaurs. I never realized how much of a dinosaur nerd I was, and here I am. Wow. Garrison in his element, aren't you, baby? Pachycephalosaurus. Yeah. They're the ones that put hair to the sea, the skull. Yeah. The solid bone. See, Garrison's like the expert on dinosaurs, aren't you, baby? <laughs> this is amazing. But yeah, I was. Oh. 
show me the teeth. Ooh. Dems are soft. Oh, they're the different dinosaurs they belong to. See, I thought the T-Rex one would have been the biggest. It is a lie. Well, these are reproductions, but they're the real ones. They're legit. So yeah, I was actually going to film us on the underground. However, it was just so manic. There's so many people. I think it's rush hour now. Well, yeah, it's about half four. We literally got in by the skin of our teeth. So they are taking bookings at the moment for the Natural History Museum. We picked half four and it doesn't seem, one. this is the last one. So 4.30 is your last one. And it doesn't seem horrendously busy. And it's just, I can't get over it. Guys, if you come to London, I would really recommend it here. Really recommend it. And this is someone who's saying that they're not, I'm not saying I'm not a fan of dinosaurs, but nowhere near as intense as Gareth is, and I'm blown away by it. When you wish leg day would make you feel like this. <laughs> I was just saying, you know it's leg day when Oh wow, there's just so much, there's so much to see. That's a iguanodon panel. Yeah? And then we've just got like the history of dinosaurs, like how their biology worked, how their anatomy worked, so that's really exciting. So if you want to know like how a dinosaur worked. And not like the animatronic ones at Universal Studio. This is this is where you come. Allosaurus. Yeah. This one up there. You used to be able to go up there onto the walkway. Do you think they changed it? Yeah. finished in the dinosaur section it was getting quite busy in there compared to what I was saying earlier and Gareth really wanted to come into the shop and look at all the dinosaur toys didn't you babe we, <laughs> we are just big kid big kids really here aren't we look at all the fluffy dinosaurs have they got my girl Rexy where's she at there she is I love T-Rexes so much. Nice. Oh, it roars. And the different plushies range from different prices. So obviously the six pound ones are the smaller ones. Whereas you've got the massive ones, which are like 25 quid. Oh, it's a puppet. It's a puppet. <laughs> Why has he got such a big underbite? <laughs> And then you got the Christmas jumper ones. Of course you got Christmas jumper ones. You can't help yourself, can you? You really, look what you've done. <coughs> He's drunk, poor thing. And then you got more of the fluffier persuasion. Oh no, we've got a cause of scene here. How are we gonna do this? Right, okay, so usually when I find these kinds of toys, I've got to cause a scene. Um, I think we leave this one. Oh, we're going to leave this it's one. It's a respectable okay. museum. It's uh, not a garden centre. Yeah. Next time we go to a garden centre, we'll cause a scene. Oh, that moves its jaw. I think it's really good quality, They are. It's very exciting. And now I think we're going to go and look at some more manimals. And I can't wait. What's the next section, babe? Um, uh, we'll surprise you. We decided to go to the mammals because I like fluffy. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Oh, 
Oh my god. This makes me sad, but wow. That is a blue whale. That's big boy. That is a chunky boy. <laughs> you know what this is like? This is like uh, Ace Ventura when he's losing his mind because of all the taxidermy. And they're like, are you quite all right? Perfectly fine. This is a lovely room of death. That's, that's basically what this is. I've never been here before. I know I keep saying that, but like, this is nuts. It's a little dick dick. Take that however you will. This is a family friendly channel, you monsters. <laughs> then over here we've got more. We've got a Nelly Ellie. Oh. Wow. This is amazing. I'm probably going to show you like a few other clips around the museum, but that's about it, mainly because. Uh, we are genuinely here for Comic Con, so this is just a little bit added extra. <coughs> but please enjoy some fluffy animals. All I can say for this one is evolution done you dirty and like can you imagine just seeing this in the mirror and being like I could have been that I could have been a contender <laughs> also they have fish on the sea I feel like I'm in a Beatles music video very reminiscent to Lucy in the sky with diamonds we're now moving to more fluffs aren't we so that was basically like the evolution of elephants from the mammoth and I was just saying to Gareth it's nuts how far they've come and how much they've changed it is really good in here especially for the kids like there's a lot of interactive stuff for them to do and kind of understand the biology of animals and that's a camel I do like my camels <gasps> I wonder if they have alpacas in here no I'm excited but I'm upset we've got more of the deer persuasion so yeah you've got stuff like this for the kids to do when all you can think of is that's a big Patronus <laughs> I can't comprehend that deer used to be that big or are still that big surely they're not still that big then they're still not that big. Gareth has confirmed that they're still not that big. We've got a bison over here. It's really exciting because you can see other animals that aren't really native to our country. Used to be. Used to be? Oh, oh wow. European bison. This just goes to show how much I know. It's a fluffy pig and a little a fluffy pig. Okie dokie, so situation, we've kind of come in the wrong end of this exhibit but it's a free exhibit and it's basically about um, climate change what we're doing to the world, how the world's reacting, um, how dog breeds have changed as well, like how humans have impacted the evolution of the world, weather-wise, uh, animal-wise, nature-wise in general. And I think it's, it's, it's really meant to be an eye-opener for us. It's meant to show us kind of how Oh, so this, if you look, it basically shows you the different nests that might have actually got rubbish in them. So if you look at number one, that's made of wire and that's what birds have picked up. 
uh, five for example you've got uh, that kind of string that green garden string and it's just four so the robin nest down here that kind of looks a little bit better but the fact that it's in the plant pot is still you know it's not great apparently all of these nests contain some form of waste or plastic oh we got a little <gasps> look how little he is that's a baby bat they have more and another one over there lighter nights threaten bats and insects oh this is so much worse than i thought it would be but i can understand that because it might interrupt their hunting habits let's see what it says artificial light and are a growing threat to wildlife worldwide in the uk many insects like moths and mayflies are drawn to street lights in vast numbers often with fatal results many are killed outright eaten or become unable to feed or mate other animals like uh, i can't say that Pipistrel? Pipistrel bats feed on insects gathered under artificial light. However, many bats avoid light polluted areas due to increased risks from predators making whole landscapes inaccessible. That's heartbreaking. That really is. It's like this exhibit's making me sad, but you know, it's got a message. Well, if that doesn't say a lot, I don't know what does. I really don't. Guys, just a quick update on Dippy. We know where she is. She's currently on tour. So, you never know. Dippy might be coming to download 2022, am I right? <laughs> and we have come into the animal section. Reptiles, there we go. I'm so sorry, I'm so dense. You're all probably watching this like, Lou, how do, how do you function? There's a simple for answer for that. I don't. I simply do not. I'm like a jellyfish. I just exist. Oh, it's a crocky boy. Oh, you are beautiful. And we got the skeleton at the top. For any sloth fans out there, I got you covered. That's a big sloth. I can't believe they used to be that big and now they're just these tiny little bundles of slow joy. Evolution's a beautiful thing. back again i you're you're just not phased at all are you no you're just happy to be here aren't you yeah gareth's literally scanning the channel for anything that's not children in need because why don't you like children in need <coughs> it's a scam okay um <laughs> yeah we're back i i was gonna do more of the christmas market i'm so sorry that i didn't there were just so many people it was and I, I don't know i've seen london busy before but it just felt 
it just felt it just felt horrendously busy like my anxiety started going like i don't like the underground anyway the underground really scares me in general i don't really know why like i think it's because it's like so claustrophobic so many people are trying to get to where they want to go to and i feel like i'm in the way constantly like i've got a fear that i'm in the way all the time anyway which we're trying to combat but that's besides the point so yeah we we went to the natural history museum that was lovely i really really enjoyed that however and i did have to stop filming at one part so you know the um the free exhibit where it was basically about uh the ecosystem and how we basically ruined the world uh and how we've changed things <clears throat> like other animals the ecosystem everything there were a couple of things in there that i just didn't think were i didn't think they were child friendly i i really didn't there's there's a lot of heavy hitting stuff in there and you know <clears throat> whilst this whilst this channel deals with the heavy hitting subjects and this that and the other like i don't shy away from it however i also want to keep the channel family friendly as well so if you do go to the natural history museum and you have got children it's it's under your own discretion basically but it was fantastic like we really enjoyed it didn't we mm. was there anything different to I when i can't remember because you came a long time ago didn't you very long time ago yeah so gareth came a long time ago but this was the first time i'd ever been they did have an exhibit for fantastic beasts so i think what they had were they had taxidermied um creatures from the fantastic beasts um films and stuff and it was an extra payment so we didn't do that but just to go to the Nash, um the natural history museum in general it's free to go and it's a really nice time, really lovely time. I think when we come to London again, we may potentially go for longer. I don't know what we're going to come to London again for, so I don't know. But if you want us to, I'm sure we'd be more than happy to do that, yeah? Yeah. And then we went to the Christmas market, so we took the underground. And it was just pandemonium. It really was pandemonium. It... <laughs> It wasn't anything special. Now that's going to sound really ungrateful. I went to Chatsworth last year and that was amazing. Now, you know, it is... Before, didn't we? So I'll show you before. I'm pretty sure it was last year. Mm. Yeah, because it was, you know, everyone had to wear their masks and this, that and the other. And it might have been last year, it might have been the year before. I digress. Uh, it was amazing i absolutely loved it that's one of my favorite thank you that's one of my favorite ever christmas markets yes it is a stately home and it is its own thing but continue have you had enough sweetie i think you've had enough yeah um <laughs> i hope you enjoyed that yeah so if you're hoping to come to the Leicester Square Christmas market, enjoy, I guess. Like, there isn't anything massively different compared to the other Christmas markets. There really <coughs> isn't. The stalls are practically the same. The price for the food, however, is very different. You can definitely tell you're in London. But we went to Pete's Hut after that, and then a fight kicked off just our luck a fight kicked off so we were like <laughs> we can't deal with this anymore and we left we just left so we came back i was about to say home we came back to the hotel and this is where we're at now but <clears throat> yeah it's 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 been a whirlwind it really has been a whirlwind uh i hope you've enjoyed it but i just wanted to do like a pre uh comic con kind of day also, I just thought I would tell you and show you a few things that I am going to be taking to Comic-Con with me tomorrow just to make myself a bit more comfortable. This is also for cosplayers as well. So 
cosplaying is an art not just because you're making the costume but also because you have to deal with that costume for the entire day depending on you know if you are going to wear it for the entire day or if you're just wearing it for a um, meet and greet uh, or a meet up but these are a couple of things that I fully recommend you do you don't have to do them if you don't want to uh, I'll go and get the other thing are you falling asleep no. How dare you? You're watching Fantastic Four on mute. You're watching Fantastic... Oh, is it on? Yeah, f f uh, film 4 plus 1. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> getting, uh, getting all nerdy and ready for tomorrow. So, this might look a bit gross to you, but this is the first thing I will recommend. And this is basically to make your feet feel a lot better <coughs> when you're going and walking around. Because, spoiler alert, you're going to do a lot of walking. There's... <laughs> I don't know about this specific film and comic convention, however I found that at other comic cons there's not a lot of places to sit down so you are on your feet practically all day long. So if you can get some insoles, perfect, 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 whether you are a cosplayer or not a cosplayer, um, these have been absolutely wonderful for, for me today. I immediately re regret doing all of the walking though because my feet are gonna absolutely kill tomorrow but that's besides the point also I got this amazing anti-chafe cream yes this cost me about five pounds I think four or five pounds I'm not too sure but this particularly if you're wearing a skirt or if you're wearing jeans and you are on the slightly bigger side, this is absolutely fantastic. I really recommend it. it. It works all day, pretty much. I wore it to my friend's wedding and I felt amazing. I really did. It's very silky smooth. <laughs> so we got the insoles, we got the anti-chafing cream. Deodorant, please, please take deodorant because whilst it is a colder period for comic conventions, it's still really warm in those halls. And unfortunately, you can tell when somebody hasn't sprayed. I'll leave you with that one. I thought you were putting your hand up then, like, yeah, that's me. She's no. talking about me. <laughs> um, yeah, please wear deodorant. You'll thank yourself for it. Everybody else will thank you for it as well. Just wear deodorant. Like, hygiene is everything because you... You're coming into contact with so many people there's such a massive crowd and there is just a, a smell there is a smell and if you've been to comic conventions before you will know exactly what i'm talking about or any other kind of convention please just don't be that person to add to the smell okay and i have got face wipes face wipes are absolutely wonderful if you find you are cosplaying and you've had enough of your makeup because if you are wearing foundation it makes you sweat a lot i'm i'm hardly wearing any makeup tomorrow but bring some face wipes with you also if you go and get food and you find that your fingers are a little bit sticky face wipes again boom if your armpits are really sweaty you could always go to the toilet and use a face wipe for that as well i have been known to do that especially when i was a lot bigger face wipes are an absolute lifesaver <clears throat> i think that's pretty much it for what i can recommend uh take a bag as well take a um take a big bag because chances are you might get a lot of merchandise um don't fill it to the brim either so i've got my download bag and it's got a pocket here it's got a pocket here it's got a pocket here and another pocket at the back and i know that will do me for the whole convention however i am adamant if there is a lady dimitres body pillow i will be getting it so if you see some random girl wandering around proudly with a lady dimitres body pillow that's going to be me <laughs> but yeah just take what you want realistically but don't go crazy because you are going to get bag checked before you go in that's basically to make sure everybody's safe uh, unfortunately it is a big meeting space which means it is in danger of potentially a bomb threat or something like that and we really don't want that but <coughs> 
the main thing is just enjoy yourself because before you know it it's over um make the most of the day make the most of the meet and greets make the most of meeting up with other uh cosplayers as well there's loads of like meetups for different cosplayers you usually have an avengers one you have a dc one you have a horror one all sorts so make the most of it make the most of the stalls as well the stalls are absolutely amazing and i can't wait to go through them tomorrow but i'm just excited i'm really really excited i can't wait to meet nick frost i will probably cry because i cry at everything but all in all it's been an interesting day oh we saw a corgi as well we saw a corgi didn't we yeah i got really excited and the corgi came in to the tube where we were and then she sauntered off i know it's a she because her name is lucy and she was wonderful and i love corgis that's the takeaway from that but i will see you guys tomorrow and i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you've had a good day if not that's okay always remember tomorrow's a new day see you later guys bye